என் கண் பார்த்தது என் கை சேருமோ கை சேராமலே கண்ணீர் சேருமோ Hello friends, welcome to CSAT Mantra. It's raining all the time here at our place in Tamil Nadu. It's really cool weather here. So the song, let's solve a question based on averages concept. A class consists of 20 boys and 30 girls. In the mid-semester examination, the average score of the girls was 5 higher than that of the boys. In the final exam, however, the average score of the girls dropped by 3. While the average score of the entire class is increased by 2. The increase in the average score of the boys is. We know in averages chapter there is only one concept, only one formula that is average is equal sum of elements by number of elements. No matter which exam you are giving, you can solve any problem from averages chapter using this formula my friends. Okay, this concept. Now let's solve this problem using the same formula. We have a class consisting of 20 boys and 30 girls. 20 boys and 30 girls. Now, in mid-semester examination, the average score of the girls was 5 higher than that of the boys. Let's assume the average score of the boys in mid-semester examination as ABM. Okay, average score of the boys in mid-semester examination. Okay, if you don't know something, then please assume it. In the same manner, let's denote the average score of the girls in mid-semester examination as AGM. Now, it is said that average score of the girls was 5 higher than that of the boys. So, AGM will be 5 plus ABM. Okay, average score of the girls was 5 higher than that of the boys. This is clear, right? Now, let's find out the average score of entire class in mid-semester examination. Here, average score of entire class has been talked. So let's find out this that is equal to marks of boys in mid semester examination plus marks of girls in mid semester examination. Okay, total marks of all students, my friends, by total number of students that is 20 plus 30 that is equal to 50. This is clear, right? We don't know marks of boys in mid semester examination, but we know average marks of boys in mid semester examination is equal to marks of boys by total number of boys that is 20. From this we can write marks of boys as 20 into ABM. Similarly, marks of girls as number of girls into AGM. Okay, AGM is equal to marks of girls by okay number of girls that is 30. Okay, so marks of girls will be 30 into AGM. Okay, 30 into AGM. This is clear, right? Now, marks of entire class in mid-semester examination that is equal to marks of boys that is 20 ABM, okay, plus marks of girls that is uh, 30 AGM by 50. This is the average marks of entire class in mid-semester examination, my friends. This is clear, right? Now, final exam. In final exam, the average score of the girls dropped by 3. Earlier, it was AGM. Now, it will be AGM minus 3. Okay, it dropped by 3 marks my friends. This is clear, right? The average score of boys in final examination that is not given. So, let's assume it as ABF average score of boys in final examination. Okay, this is what being asked. The increase in the average score of the boys. Here it is ABM. Here it is ABF. How much increase is there from mid to final examination? Now, how to find out this? To find out this, there is a hint given that is average score of the entire class is increased by 2 in final examination. So, average score of entire class in final examination is marks of all students that is marks of boys plus marks of girls in final examination. Okay, we are talking about final examination, right? So, marks of boys and marks of girls will be a final examination by total number of students that is a 50. Now, as we have seen earlier, average of boys in final examination is marks of boys in final examination by number of boys. So, marks of boys in final examination is 20 into average of boys in final examination plus marks of girls in final examination is 30 number of girls into average of girls in final examination that is AGM minus 3 okay we no need to assume that it's there okay by 50 this is clear right here it is said that in final examination 
the average score of the entire class is increased by 2 okay so average score of entire class in final examination is AEM plus 2 my friends okay earlier it was AEM now it is increased by 2 okay so AEM plus 2 this is clear right now let's substitute AEF value this value and AEM value this value in this equation okay so AEF is 20 ABF plus 30 AGM minus 90 okay 30 AGM minus 30 into 3 that is 90 by 50 is equal to AM is 20 ABM plus 30 AGM by 50 plus 2. Now let's simplify this 20 ABF plus 30 AGM minus 90 is equal to 20 ABM plus 30 AGM plus 50 into 2 that is 100. Okay. So, 50, 50 on both sides gets cancelled out. 50 into 2 is 100. Clear, right? Now, 30 AGM, 30 AGM gets cancelled out. 20 ABF is equal 20 ABM plus 100 plus 90. This is 20 ABM plus 190. So, ABF is equal 20 ABM plus 190 by 20 bringing this 20 on this side my friends okay this is ABM plus 190 by 20 this is ABM plus okay 9.5 now if you see ABF is average score of boys in final examination that is equal to average score of boys in mid examination plus 9.5 so average score of the boys increased by 9.5 in final examination my friends so our answer is a this question is asked in cat 2017 my friends not at all difficult it's just that bit lengthy two to three steps extra anyone who has the good understanding of the concepts and did enough practice they can solve this problem in 30 seconds my friends okay less than 30 seconds this is what i am saying no matter which exam you are giving if you are sticking to the concepts which you have taught in our lectures that's fine my friends okay nothing beyond that all i did here is just made use of one concept one formula that is average is equal sum of elements by number of elements just go sentence by sentence divide and rule assume what you don't know write the equations for each and every sentence and solve them that's it my friends clear right 